Today, we're gonna be seeing who can gain the most muscle between me and my best friend, Noah. Come on, man. We talk about how we're built the same. Since the day I met you till now, I feel like we really are just built the same. Bro, we're the same human. So we're gonna put that to the test today, bro. What do you got in your back pocket right now? This is what I got. Is that a digital measuring tape? It is. <laughs> we're gonna flex as hard as we can right now, and this actually measures your biceps by inches. We're both gonna know what we start with, and then we're gonna split up and meet back here at the end to see who gained the most. And whoever does is stronger between me and you. So I'm gonna win. I have mama mentality today, okay? I know exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Bro, come on, stop. Stop playing with bro, me. Bro, let's see yours. You're starting first. Oh, I'm definitely looking small right now, bro. All right, Noah, you got a little baseball in there. I like it. <laughs> I'm literally like a it. baseball, bro. So, guys, this is what you do. You wrap it around the bicep. We'll go at the tallest part. You clip this here. I'm gonna hit this R button, and it's gonna tighten right over here. All right, so now it's as tight as it can get, and it's at 10.90 inches. What are you gonna end with? What do you think? Realistically, I think I can get to 12. A Maybe 13. I don't know. I don't know. I want to try really hard today. Let's see what you got going on. 1182. You're kind of massive Dude, right I'm now. kind of bigger than you already. Bro. I don't know. We got all day today. You can go now. I already know what I'm doing. I don't bro. need you here, bro. <laughs> you guys probably thought I was going to start off at a gym, but you are completely wrong. We actually just pulled up to Dick's Sporting Goods because I feel like when you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you perform better. I'm in a really chill fit right now. Let's change that. what I'm gonna start with. I bought this device because I saw it on TikTok and I literally buy all my stuff because of TikTok now, but it's a push-up machine. So this is what it looks like. It's actually not even that expensive and it works out different muscles in your body based on where you put this. So the blue is chest, red is shoulder, yellow is back laterals and green is triceps. Let's get it. Guys, my backyard is pretty much my mental escape. It's very calm, quiet out here and this is where I like to work out. And we're gonna start with some regular push-ups for chest and start with 10. <sighs> Alright, 10 to start. I low-key was struggling off the bat. There's another chest one we could do. All you have to do is turn it. We'll go for another 10. Oh man, I'm struggling way too hard. That just shows you I haven't worked out in a long time. We're already up to 20 push-ups in two minutes, man. Like, I'm not even stressed. Since we are measuring the whole entire arm, that means triceps are included. This has the tricep setting, but it is the hardest level of them all. We could try it, but guys, no promises I'm gonna actually be able to do it. Wait, 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 this is hard. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I actually don't think I could do that. Let me see another green one. This is also a tricep. Okay. Woo. I'm gonna give this a rest, but I do have a game plan. Everyone knows you get a pump right after you work out. I'm gonna kind of take it light throughout the day. I'm still gonna work out. So gonna do some like calisthenics, pull-ups, all that. But before it's time to measure our biceps again, I'm gonna go crazy on this push-up machine and just get a crazy pump. And then my blood should be flowing. My muscles should be looking great. And I should take home the dub. Now it's time to get to business. I'm already looking the par. I'm feeling great. But now we just pulled up to Stern's gym. My first instinct was to go on Instagram and I hit up my guy, Mo. He's one of the biggest bodybuilders out here in San Diego and he's an Olympian so he's not to be messed with about to get that pumping baby this is always mandatory when walking into a gym you gotta hit one of those real quick I feel official yeah, nice yeah, to meet yeah, you brother yeah, thank you for having me in here today yeah no problem what is it you want to do in the gym what is your focus today with me so we're focusing on arms today you ready I'm trying to go Hard, trying, to go hard. trying to go hard. What are we starting off with? So we're gonna start off with some tricep pull downs. Yep. Before I really start going, do I need to like consume anything, any like pre-workout, or like just go straight to it? You don't have to. I want to be official, bro. We got to do this like straight up. Just I need the biggest muscles. All right, for sure, for sure. <laughs> so real quick too, I want you guys to see like a quick before, right? This is the before simplistic. All right, that's how I'm gonna look like after. All right, little post-workout smoothie. I actually saw Tom Brady's recipe for the perfect smoothie on TikTok. We're gonna throw in all kinds of seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, brown flax seeds, which he said they're really good for you, blueberries, a scoop of vanilla protein powder, banana, and almond milk. And he actually didn't add spinach, but I figured, why not get the green in my body? Start with the eyes. Throw the blueberries in there. All right, we got all of our seeds, protein powder, spinach, and to top it off, almond milk. Here we go. All right, I actually cannot wait to try this. Oh man, that consistency is great. Cheers, guys. 
Whoa, that is delicious. It's actually a lot sweeter than I thought. Dude, I could get used to drinking this every day for real. Guys, I think I'm gonna sit here, enjoy the nice sun, enjoy my smoothie. We'll get the next workout in after this. There you go. I got so it. So typically what you would wanna do when consuming a pre-workout is to drink the entire thing right away. Right away. You can chug this, get cold with it. We gonna get it in. We gonna get it. Take your time. You can do it within the first few sets if you wanna get started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it. And all I want you to do is about 15 reps. Shoulders down. Just right here. Easy. The goal of hypertrophy is to achieve getting a pump, becoming sore, all these things have scientific reasons, yeah. right? The reason we feel these things, right? Yeah. We're gonna be doing quite a few reps. It'll be somewhere between 10 to 20 reps. You will feel burning sensations. You will feel the muscle get pumped to the point that it's gonna be hard. I'm trying to rip them, bro. This time, what I want you to do is, when you go down, focus on slowly coming up. Three seconds coming up. One, two, three. I'm trying to take it as high as it go. I've been by the cold, you know how I be. I am a product to put in my curses to rest on my family tree. Cause he grow. They tell me they be, but they work for the man. I can't relate, I did it on my own. On to the next. So I know Noah was talking about Mamba mentality in the beginning. He had a Kobe Bryant shirt. Everyone knows I have this giant painting of Kobe. I also do have another thing that'll help me with my mentality for the day. I got a freaking Mamba mentality book. So I think if I read a few of these pages before my next workout, I'll break even more of a sweat and go extra hard. I didn't train only my body. I trained my mind too. Look at how sick this looks. My mental preparation. I always started off my routine close to the basket. These are just some dope photos, man. I'm gonna sit here and read about three pages and get ready for my boxing workout. Dude, this is really motivating right now. Guys, I got this punching bag for Christmas and I've been using it every now and then, but today is the day where it matters the most. Dude, I might need to put some headphones on, actually lock in and go hard on this bag. But, excuse me, I like your punching bag. What are you listening to? What does that have to do with anything? Uh, best of both worlds by Hannah Montana? Come on, bro. Don't bother me next time. For real, I'm in my zone. I'm just curious. It has nothing to do with the workout. What's your song of choice? You're going into a, a, a crazy workout, maybe a light workout, doesn't matter. Go-to song or music genre? My music genre is definitely gonna be some type of rap or hip hop. Okay. Future or <laughs> Amigo. If you throw on Future, you're, you're going mean, stupid. Man, going crazy. <laughs> what we're gonna do in this next workout is skull crushers. And basically what we're gonna do, have him doing is laying down flat on the bench, bringing the hands towards his face. <laughs> Brian's done for, I'm telling you right now. Alright, here and four here. Four here. Allowing this portion of your body to get as far as it can from here. You feel your lat, but you should feel up in here as well. Sounds good. At this point in the workout, I don't know how long it's been since we got here, but I'm definitely starting to feel it in all portions of the body. So we're doing great. The only way you can grow muscles through hypertrophy, achieving hypertrophy, is when you play mouse and keyboard. Yeah. I'm sure at some point when you play mouse and keyboard, you're like, yeah, it's burning a little bit. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's after so long, yeah. you're all the work you do, actions and you can create and do the movement, you're creating that lactic acid feeling. All the gamers out there that think, like, oh, they're not working out enough, at least you're moving the arms. You know what I'm saying? At least you're getting some gains from <laughs> yeah. moving that mouse around. You know right? what I'm saying? Let's do it. Another 15, 20 pounds of raw muscle on you, you got a great structure, you know what I'm saying? You know, I've been told that, like good yeah, physique, I yeah. just need to actually put in the work now. You gotta put in the work, bro, you know what I mean? Striations and everything. All thanks to my guy Mo, bro, yeah, come man. on. Don't play with Mo. Clap the room, I'm coming through, they wanna see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills, do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route. Just wrapped up. I'm feeling great. Thank you once again for having us. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate bro. it so much. But yeah, now we're going to take off. Where should we go to eat, though? Because I need to get my uh, nutrients in, you know what I'm saying? Like an acai bowl or something. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? All right, sounds good. Let's get some acai. We got my gallon of water. This is important. Every day, I try to drink a gallon of water, and I think this is really good for muscle recovery, just having fluids in your body. The goal is, by the end of the day, to drink all this, of course. So I'm going to go for a chug. 
Right. Didn't even make a dent. We're about to head to Chipotle. I feel like a lot of bodybuilders go there for their protein. I am on the Chipotle hate train. I don't like Chipotle. For some reason, it always makes me sick. No disrespect to Chipotle and to everyone out there that likes Chipotle, but it's facts. If we're trying to gain muscle, I think it's a good place to go to. We had Chipotle, baby. I think we're just gonna ask the worker what they think is like the highest protein meal. But I don't like too much. I'm more of like a rice and chicken kind of guy, so let's see. Is brown rice better for games? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I'll do brown rice and then I'll do double chicken. Can I actually get veggies too? Yo, this might make me change my mind about Chipotle because I've never gotten this plain of a bowl. We got veggies, chicken, rice, cheese, and salsa. Usually I try adding too much, so let's get these gains in, my boy. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna just scarf this down. I wonder what Noah's up to. When I tell you I cannot put my arms down, oh my God, oh, I'm stuck like this. I feel swole, but we pulled up to Roots Bowls for our acai bowl and probably like a ginger shot. You know, we got to stay healthy. Let's get it in. Starting it off, we got some avocado toast with some tomato eggs. Moving on, we got our acai bowl like we got recommended from Mo. And we also threw a ginger shot on top of that. Keep the gut healthy. Let's start off with this. This is gonna be the worst one of them all. This is what I'm looking at right now though. Jeez, look at that. Beautiful. Lots of grains and proteins in this one. Got blueberries, strawberries, the acai, peanut butter. Wow. We're gonna get all this down, then head back outside and get more of a pump. Man, your boy's feeling full. But after this, we're heading straight to the beach. I feel like it's too nice of a day to not do something outside. So your boy's gonna work out at the beach. For this workout, we're gonna be doing some calisthenics. That means working out without weight. So we're just gonna strictly rely on my own muscle. Gonna turn out pretty well, but before we leave, it says free hugs by the door. Okay, we're good to go. All right, so after that meal, we let the food settle and now it's back to grind time. We are in front of a Muay Thai gym. I figured why not get a different type of workout in. I've never tried Muay Thai. It's also connected to a gym on the side that we could go get some like workouts in. I'm strictly trying to focus on bicep because that is what we're measuring at the end of the day. So let's get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that too much? It's all right, but we can get the form better. Yeah, yeah, I definitely need better form. You want to be turning the punches right here tight. Boom, boom. Eventually, once you get good at that, you want to be putting off that back foot. Ah. Uh -huh. okay. Now left hook. Good job. Have that hand up too. Oh yeah, yeah. See, I dropped the hand. I would have gotten knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go in a pattern. So we'll start off slow. So okay. part of the jab. Bring back to my face. Now you know, nice, now let's throw it. one, two. Now one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh man, that's tough. I think I'm ready for the ring though. Feel it right now. I'm not gonna lie, I feel it all over here. <laughs> now this was a real workout of the day so far. In Simplistics Life, it's all about treating the mind, the body, and the spirit. You gotta be at ease with yourself. You gotta be calm, collected, but still go 100% in everything you do. I'm at a park, the vibes are amazing. I kinda came here to wind down. My competition probably isn't doing much. I'm massive right now. The main thing we're gonna focus on right now is recovery. It's very important. We're gonna stretch out a little bit, maybe get a slight pump, do some like push-ups or something. Then after this, we're gonna get cold. We're all stretched out, but before we leave, I just want to see something real quick. We got some hoopers on the court right now. I can barely move my arms. Let's see if I can hit a three right now. I probably can't. I can barely hold the ball right now. Oh my God, no, ain't no way right now. That's what happens when you work out this tough. All right, guys, my arms are really sore. We did work out the left arm a little too much, but we're measuring right arm at the end of the day. It's time to get a quick pump in right now. I'm trying to take it as high as it go. I've been by the cold, you know how I be. I am a product of putting my curses to rest on my family tree. Can see growth, they tell me they be, but they work for the man. I can't relate, I did it on my So one of the best things to do when trying to recover your muscles is cryotherapy. That is what we're gonna be doing right now. If you guys don't know what cryotherapy is, it's basically an ice chamber that just helps recover your muscles. So we need that. They also provided us with a digital temperature meter. So let's go check out what we're at right now. So our current body temperature is looking like 76 degrees. Keep that number in mind because after this, oh man, we're gonna be freezing. We're ready to go, but I need to pick out a song because you know, I can't go in there without a vibe. So what are we gonna do today? Oh yeah, we're staying in there for like 20 minutes when we put on her loss. Oh 
my god. You know what's crazy? I've done cryo therapy before. My highest time is like four minutes. I think we're at 320. I'd say about three minutes this time. I'm freezing. My eyelids, everything. After that, I'm feeling amazing though. Let's check the thermometer and see where we're at though. Look at my hand. 58 degrees. Oh my god. That was needed. So just some more info if you guys aren't too familiar. It helps reduce inflammation. So the inflammation in my forearms right now, it flushes out toxins. It elevates your mood. Look at me. <laughs> I'm happy. It decreases stretch marks, relieve hangovers. Oh boy, I need that. Reduce cellulite, release endorphins, improve sleep quality. Look at all the great things it does. It increases metabolism. Come on, man. All the benefits. I think it's time to eat though. I'm hungry. All right, guys. After that hard workout, we came to the mall. We're going to go to a GNC and just replenish my muscles with that protein. The best time to drink protein is after a killer workout. We got to get it done ASAP. Yo, there's so much fan love out here at this mall. I'm competing in a challenge with Noah right now. Who can gain the most muscle? Who's winning? Yo, I got a question. I just got a killer workout in. What's like the best, most protein shake you have? So are you looking for powder or like ready to go? Ready to go. So we got this whey bollock right here, 40 grams of protein. It's got BCAAs in there. I'll cop the vanilla one. Anything else I could like eat too to just like get it going? We have a lot of like good protein snacks. I think this should be good. Damn, 20 grams of protein? All right, let's get it guys. There's so many gotcha. supporters waiting outside. This is gonna be hectic. All right, guys, just made it home. It's almost time for the finale to measure our biceps and see who gained the most muscle. So like I said in the beginning, my plan is right before he gets here, get a crazy pump going and then measure our biceps. I don't think he has that in mind. So I think I'm just going to win this. It's probably going to taste nasty. Wait, that's actually really good. Let's try this strawberry pop tart. Ooh, not really like a pop tart, but. Ooh, that's good. It's getting a little bit later in the day, and before we head back to Brian's house, we have to get at least one more meal. So I chose going to California Fish Grill, and what we're gonna be getting here is a Bradley Martin styled meal. I looked online, and apparently he eats a lot of different seafood because it has a lot of protein in it. So I think that's our best bet. This looks healthy, exactly what I was aiming for. Got some ahi tuna with some sauce on it, some brown rice, because we gotta keep it organic. We also got a green salad, you know, to put some veggies in our stomach as well. Scarf it down, baby. <laughs> Ugh. Look at the result. I also didn't mention, but I got some probiotic drinks to help the digestion. But I think it's finally time to head back home and compare me versus Brian. Who gained the most muscle? AKA me, the winner. Let's go take this dub real quick. I'm gonna try as hard as I can to push through these push ups and curl ups. I just wanna win. I wanna tell Noah every single day that I'm stronger than him. That's all I want. It's bragging rights. Clap the boom. I'm coming through. They wanna see what I'm about. All right, I'm ready, man. So Noah's literally pulling up right now, and I heard the best game snack is rice cake and pizza peanut butter. So we're going to get some of this in before he walks through those doors. Mm. You know what? Oh my God. I'm so good, but dry. Hey there. You finished? Yeah. We're ready to go. Some peanut butter? I'm having my last snack of the day. These are fire. Damn, bro. You got like a new fit on or what? Bro, I had to go crazy. Oh, okay. You got the muscle team? Cool though. I spent. Yo, more. you look. Hey, you Loki look bigger, bro. Who do you that think? That looks won? like about the same, bro. Are you ready? Is I'm it actually, time? I'm actually kind of nervous. Your bicep in the beginning was 10.9 inches. You said you wanted it to be around 12 or 13. It's a crazy uh, reach there, but you know, we're going to try. This is it, man. We lock it in. Now flex as hard as you can. Here we go. Is that it? Yeah. 11.76. Ooh, okay, not bad. Dude, that's almost an entire inch. Of yeah. Muscle. Damn. So Noah, you gained a total of 0 0.86 inches. My starting bicep size was 11.82 inches. If I get to 12.69 inches or higher, I win. You win. Oh, here we go, dude. I actually worked really hard today. I actually did Muay Thai too. No way. <laughs> yeah, bro. I was going crazy. Muay Thai is crazy. All right, here we go. There. And let me adjust it a little bit. What am I at? 11.92. You're lying. I gained 0.10 inches yeah. of muscle. <laughs> hey, good game though. Hey, GG's bro. You can now say you're officially stronger than me. I'll give you that title. I can't. <laughs> I'll give you that title. I don't think I can still. You were initially bigger, but I mean, hey, it was a good competition. I had fun. Yeah. I haven't got to do something like this in a while, and Same. I'm so sore, bro. Tomorrow's gonna be crazy. I genuinely felt good working out, and I hope you guys learned a thing or two in this video, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Shout out to Noah for beating me. Hey, let's go. We'll see you all with the next video. Peace.